Let's get started. Um, Chitanika and uh, Sanjeevan. You can switch on the video. We can get started and let the others join. Yeah. Yes, Sanjeevan. Where are you from? The Tamil Nadu, Aginashi. I mean, I see. Uh, which school you are going to? The Sugna going to. Oh, you are coming down this school. Uh, which standard are you in? The eleventh. Uh, can you repeat which standard are you in? Eleventh standard. Eleventh standard. Okay. What is the name of your previous school? The Vivega School. All right. Can you just join school up? So this month, the last month. Oh, last month. Yes, sir. All right. So we are going to have this, and um, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy that. At Sintanika, you can also switch on. I want to uh, get to know about all of you. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. All right. Yeah. One thing, uh, Krishna, uh, Krishna Nanam, right? Where are you called? Where are you from? So from Sulu, sir. Sulu. Which school are you going to? So, Kendriya Udhyal, Air Force. Air Force. Okay. Which standard are you in? Sir, 10th, sir. Uh, uh, you are getting into 10th. From 9th to 10th, is it? Yes. All right. All right. Very, very, very nice. Um, Chindarika, where are you from? Sir, from Avinashi. Oh, okay. You are, you are a sibling of Sanjeevan, is it? Yes, sir. All right. All right. And it, it is better to switch on the video. Um, we'll get started with one concept today um, in the English language, one important concept, both for reading and writing that will be useful to also for speaking and then listening. It's going to be useful for everywhere. And um, we'll get started. Um, few more persons are expected to join, but let them join as they come along. All right. I want to see everyone. That's kind of important. Uh, this is not a typical English class, and you, you need to interact, and uh, you, you, you have to talk back. All right. Uh, Chintarika, like, which school are you from? Sir, Rivega School. Uh, can you repeat? Sir? 
can you repeat? Which school are you from? Sir, Rivega School. Oh, where, where is it located? Sir, in Chinnari Pali. Where is Abhinashi. it? Pali? Sir, in Avinashi. Avinashi. Okay, very good. Which standard are you in? Sir, 9th. You are in I Okay, okay. Sanjeevan is your elder, elder brother, is it? Yes, sir. All right, all right. So we are going to have a very simple topic today, but very, very important topic. All right. Uh, Sanjeevan and Krishna switch on your videos. And uh, it's kind of important. So we are going to do something here very quickly. Um, seven o'clock, the class ends. Uh, I won't take much time. By exactly seven o'clock, I will wrap up. Um, so you need to be here. Every day at 5.30. So the time is important. There is a most important grammar word in English. Can anyone guess? There is only one word. Most important grammar word. Can anyone guess what it is? The most important grammar word. Yes. Anyone can guess four. It's four letter. All right. That is that word that we are going to look into today very quickly. You can note it down. The most important grammar word in English is verb. Verb will keep changing. It will, will take a lot of forms. We are going to look into some of those things today in a, in a way that you are going to really look into. All right. Verb is the most important grammar word in English. You will get to that. All right. I'm going to go, I'm going to talk about this. Like we are we are talking, and I, I have a question for Krishna. Go is a word, right? What is the past tense of go? Any idea? Any idea? Any idea? Look at that. The verb is the most important grammar word in English. Most important. Grammar word in English. If you know verb well, you are going to know English well. Okay, very very uh, very simple, right? And so we'll we'll do this here. Verb. What could be the past tense of verb? Any idea? Chintanika. How do I how do I call your name? How do I call your name, Chintanika? Uh, how do I how do I call your name? How do I call you? Sir. What's your name exactly? How do I call you? Sir, Chintanika only, sir. Chintanika. Okay. Uh, do you know the past tense of go? Yeah. It's so it's simple, right? Why you guys are uh, struggling here? All right. The verb is a very important thing, right? So you want to get you want to go for some ice break here, and then come back here, Krishna. Uh, again, what is your uh, what is your uh, standard? Which grade are you in, Krishna? Sir, which grade are you in? The tenth, sir. Uh, the, again, the name of the school is here for uh, KV. Is it KV, right? Sir, I can't understand. Can you repeat, please? What is the name of the school? Air Force or uh... K Kendra Vidyalaya? KV, KV, right. Very good. So uh, what do you want to become? What do you want to do? After 12th standard, what do you want to do? So I want to be a robotic engineer. Oh, a robotic engineer. Wow, wow. Very yes, sir. Robotics. So you want to deal with the AI, artificial intelligence and all, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Very nice. So you're getting into 10th right now. Yes, sir. Uh, What's your hobby? What do you do in the free time apart from studying? Sir, drawing, sir, and uh, listening to music. What kind of music you listen to? Sir? What kind of music you listen to? What kind of music? Sir, a little bit of melody. Uh, who is your favorite uh, music director? Yes, sir. Who, who is your favorite music director? Sir, Anirudh and A.R. Rahman. Wow. 
between Anirudh and A.R. Rahman, who will you choose? The A.R. Rahman. All right, all right. So, Melody, very good, very good. And um, Chintanika, what, what, what do you want to become actor plus two? What kind of course you want to take? Sir, I want to become a doctor. Uh, can you repeat what, what kind of course you want to take? Sir, I can't understand. Yeah, can you repeat? Because uh, you weren't very clear. What do you want to take after plus two? Sir, I want to become as a doctor. Oh, doctor. So, have you started preparing for NEET? Sir, no, sir. Here after foundation will be sir. All right, all right. Foundation. People will start preparing from six standard onwards. All right. So, yes. Very good. Sanjivan is logging on and I think he has some problem with that. Sanjivan. So we, we can carry on with this, Sanjivan. Uh, can you switch on your video? Okay, one second. Let's get started. One second. Sanjeevan, what do you want to become in life? After plus two, what kind of course you want to do? The engineering, sir. Engineering, what kind of engineering? I am computer based, sir. So computer science based engineering. Very yes, good. Sir. All right. So you you got now you are into Sukuna. So have you got into the IIT JE? Yes, sir. So very good. So the first year for you, right there, right? Very good. Let's do this. We'll get started with a very simple topic today. Verb. Go. What is the past tense of go? Any idea? Anyone? Well, where are you? Gone. Sir. Gone is here. That is going to be past sir, tense. Went. There you go. Went. Sir, went. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. I, I hear you. There, is, uh, there are why verb is very important. Verb has got everything in it. If you understand verb, you are going to understand English. If you are going to be thorough with verb, you are going to be thorough with English grammar. So always remember, verb is a big word. Go, went, gone. There is a fourth form. Verb has got five forms. Right? And two splits, note it down. And 20 distributions. If you can get this one right away there, 20 distribution, write it down. I'll give you some time here. I know. Verb has got five forms. We are going to look into that five forms today for sure. It has got two splits. You can split a verb into two. And you can distribute into 20 different sentences. Write this on 5 to 20. 5 to 20. Five forms, two splits, and 20 distributions. Go, went, gone. What is the next word? Anyone can guess? Single word. Sir, going. Going. Very nice. The last one. So gone. Gone is here. Oh. Try that. Try that. It's a five forms. We are going to use it. The first uh, two, three classes, we are going to heavily using the verb. And because that's a core. Sajivan, can you try? Go, went, gone, going. What is going to be the fifth word? It has to be one word. It is going to start with the G-O. Sanjeevan keeps getting disconnected. Where is he sitting? He's in a different room. He's sitting in a different room, is it? All right, Krishna, try this. He's going to start with the G-O. Uh, and he just got two more letters. Let's just try. If it is wrong, that's okay. Sir, no idea, sir. Yeah, okay. It is going to end with... Uh, just two more letters are missing. All right, try that. Let's let's try. Chintaniga, can you try that? Two two letters are missing. Two letters are missing. Don't worry. This is the fifth form. Goes. Okay. 
No, yeah, note it down. I want you guys to note it down because sometimes it's going to be hard, sometimes it's going to be easy. But we are going to look into some of the very important verbs in English because that's where everything is going to start. This word, note it down, L-S-R-W, note it down. L-S-R-W. Chintani, any idea what is going to be L-S-R-W? I am saying L-S. Sir, L stands for listen. Very good, listening. Yes. Uh, easy, easy, you can do it, you can do it. Listening. Yeah. Sir, speak. Speaking. You guess the tough one listening, right? R. Sir, reading. Reading. W. Writing. Writing. Very nice. Very nice. We, we are going to work on this throughout this course. We are going to work on the listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So every day we'll pick up one skill and we are going to uh, do this. We, so when you do listening, speaking will come automatically. When you do a lot of reading, writing will come automatically. Listening is the input. When you listen a lot in English, you are going to speak. Okay, uh, get this one here squared away. Listening. When you do a lot of listening, you can get to speak. speaking will come automatically. You understand? When you do a lot of listening. Likewise, when you do a lot of reading, your writing will become a lot better. All right. So I'll go with the easy one here. Give. What is going to be the what, what is going to be the past of that? Any idea? So given. Uh, given is going to be here, past participle. I'll tell you what it about what it means. The past tense could be give. Give. Yeah. The fourth and fifth is going to be a lot easier. You can just think through that. Easy. Give. Giving. Gives. Gives. Okay. So, and I told the seemingly easy words, but sometimes it's going to be tough. I'm going to go with the write it down. Uh, as we move along, write it down. Your notes are very important. So, I'm going to give in a different way here. Put. What is going to be the past tense? Any idea? Sir, put. Very nice. Chaitanya, very good job there. Put. It is not going to change. It's going to look, uh, seem like put itself. Sanjeevan, you want to note it down and uh, you are you are getting disconnected. Uh, take, care, uh, take care of this. Put, put, put. All the three are puts here and this is going to be put in. And puts. I'm going to uh, I'm going to choose I'm going to choose all those words which you are going to use. I'm going to choose. Look at that. Any idea? What is going to be number two position? So, so uh, can you repeat? Can you repeat? So chosen. Chosen. Look at the chosen. Here is the chosen. One more is cut out. Any idea here? So this one is choosing, easy, right? This one is chooses. Now, what is going to be the here? Any idea, number two? Sanjeevan, you can do it. Look at this, and this is the five forms. Is uh, kind of important, they started with this. Chose, only one bow. The another bow is cut off, write it down, write it down, chose. I'll help you with that uh, on that five forms, two splits, and 20 distributions. That's a core of English grammar, uh, verb. If you are going to be strong at verb, you are, you, are, you, are, you are going to be strong at English. Use. Any, any idea what is going to be here? Easy, single word. 
past tense. When you talk about the word past, look at the word I am saying past. Sanjeevan, you can speak up. Sir, used. Very good. Very good. That's all. It's as simple as that. Uh, does anyone know here? This is what is going to be the third one. The third one is also used. Go with it. Go with it. Used. Using. Using. Uses. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, don't, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. Look at that. Don't worry. You are going to learn. Don't worry. You are going to learn. Okay. Worry is nothing but worry. Easy, right? Look at the spelling carefully and write it down properly. Worry. Worrying. Look at that worries. Write it down. I'll give you a few seconds. Write it down. Uh, it's very important. The first class, the first one hour, what are we are teaching? You are going to apply that to the entire grammar, English, listen, speaking, reading, writing. So, this is our words are going to be totally different. American way, look at that. Americans do this here, learned. Look at that. But British people learned, right? Both of it, both of them. The top one is the USA. I write, I write it down here, USA. This, the bottom one is UK. Learn, learned, learned. Learning learns. But in the British way, that's a UK way, learn, learnt, and also learnt here. Learning learns. Keep note of it, important, important, because the big English exam that you are going to write in the future, you have to know all these differences. I'll keep telling as we move along the difference between UK English and US English. You have to note it down. Your notes are very important. Your notes are very important. Look at that. You keep writing all the time. I ask you to write, right? I ask you to write. Look at that. I'm putting that right there. Write is the important word. Can you, yeah, yeah, Sanjeev. Sanjeev, go, go with it. What is going to be the past? Written, sir. Written is going to be here. Sir, wrote. Yeah, there you go. The past tense is wrote. That's a B24. Wrote. Written. The, the, these ones are easy, right? Writing and writes. The fourth and fifth ones are that. You will have a problem with the number two and number three, which we are going to figure out today. Okay. Have. Look at the big word. You are going to have problems with them. So have is such a big verb. You guys have to know what is going to be the past tense of have. These are five forms that you will be using. See? Had, sir. The has is going to be here, isn't it? Had. So had. Yeah, this is had. What is going to be here? Careful, careful. Don't take it lightly. These five forms are very critical. We keep making mistakes when we talk, when we speak. Again, when you are, if you are going to be strong at verb, you are going to be strong at English. Everywhere, listening, speaking, reading, reading. That one is had itself. Write it down. And this one is easy, right? You can tell me. Number four. Having. Having. Write it down. I'll give you a few seconds. Write it down. Have, had, had, having, has. So you are able to listen to me, right? You are able to listen to me. My voice is okay, right? Listen. There you go. Easy, easy one. Krishna, you can do it. Listen. So listen. Listen. There you go. ED, you are going to attach ED to that. Listen. They call it regular verb. And most of the time when you add ED, you are also going to have the same word here. 
different meaning though, different position. But it, it will look like same pronunciation, same spelling. Listen, listen. Look at the hard hat. Same thing, learn to learn. Look at the learn to learn. A lot of those number two and number three are the same, but different meaning, different context, different usage. This one is easy. Let us not spend much time on number four and five. Number four and five are always going to be easy. You have to spend all your time on number two and number three so that you can be very thorough, uh, thorough with this. Read. Wow. Big one, read. We have to keep reading. Reading is an important activity. Read. What Sorry. is the past? Read. Spelling. R-E-A-D. Yeah. So here, that is in English. This red, your, your uh, pronounce it as red. Here also red. Okay. This is called homo phone. Write it down. Homo phone. Same sound. Homo means same. Phone means sound. Phone, phone ticks, telephone. Phone means sound. So it is called homo phone. No, note it down. That will be helpful so in some other exams. English exams, it will be helpful. Same sound, red, red. Different meaning. Yeah, of course, different meaning. This is color. This is past tense of read. Now, very important one is coming up. Read. Same spelling. Different pronunciation. Look at that. Red. Wow. Read red. Two different words. Look at that. This is the present. This is the past. This is called the... Does, can anyone say? What is it called? Same spelling, but different pronunciation. Look at that. Read, 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 read. It's called homograph. Write it down. Homograph. Graph means writing. Homo means same. Same writing. Homograph. Very important. This also. Big exam, English exam, which you are going to face. After your graduation, they will talk a lot about all these words. Homophone means same sound. Read, look at the red, 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 red. But here, different uh, pronunciation. Read, red, but same word. Okay, we are going to see a lot. We are going to see a lot like this. Read, red. What is going to be here? Any idea? That is also called a red only. R E A D, R E A D, red, but different meaning. Number two, red is different, different meaning. I'll tell you as we go along with the next uh, next few classes, we will establish the difference. Read, red. And the last, uh, last two are easy reading, reads. Now let us come to the important one. We speak, we want to speak. We want to definitely speak. Spoke, sir. Spoke. Very nice. S P O K E. Here. Say spoken. 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 Yeah, very nice. Very nice. And the last two are gender keys. Speaking. As I told, the speak is here. You want to speak. You want to speak. Want. Wanted, easy, easy, want, wanted. Then you are adding ED. Then you'll be adding the same ED here. Different meaning though. This wanted has a different meaning. This letter in the class, I will tell you what is the difference between number two and number three. But it looks like same. All right, different. Wanting. Wants. So I'm saying something which you are noting down. Say. Then said. What is going to be here? Easy, easy. Don't worry. You first note it and first it is going to be hard. Same said. Only, only the meaning is different. Words are same. And this is going to be saying, and this is going to be says. 
All right, note it down. The first class is important. This will take it to the entire grammar English lessons. The five forms will take it. Verb can be in five forms, two splits and 20 distributions. That is all English grammar. All right, say, said, said, saying, says. Now I go with the talk. Yeah, Krishna is saying you can unmute and say. You can unmute and say. The talk could have talked. And this is also going to be the same thing. Talking. Talks. It's easy, easy. We are going to round on this. Is hundreds of words you can see within 30 minutes. All those words we are using. We'll keep, we'll keep using. We'll keep using all the time. Keep is the present tense. And we do the past kept. Very nice. Very nice. Number three is also going to be kept. Past it's called a past participle. The column name is called a past participle. Which, this is the present participle. Go with it. Present participle. Keeping. And third person singular present. Keeps. Okay. I will explain you a lot in the next two, three classes. Completely covering the core. And in the first class might be a little bit tough for you. Second and third class, it's application. Whatever you learn and you are going to really uh, you are going to really apply that. Okay. Here you go, tell. You are going to apply, you are going to apply whatever you are going to read. You are going to apply. Okay. Tell. So told. Told. Beautiful. Told. Beautiful. Told. Very important because when we talk, we are going to use all these words. You have to use it correctly. Correct tense. Correct pronunciation. Correct application. Correct placement uh, of the verb. So important in English. Told, told, this is also told. Telling, tells. Look at that. Apply. Applied, yeah, very nice. A, P, P, L, I, E, D. Applied. And the third one uh, looks similar. It is similar, same, but different meaning. Apply it and apply it. Always remember about the spelling. When you have a good reading habit, your spelling will come along very nicely. You have to read. To remove your spelling mistakes, you have to keep reading. When you keep reading, your spelling comes along very nicely. Come! Comes along, he said. Game, sir. Yeah, come. Yeah, what did you say? Game. Okay. Beauty. Beauty. What is going to be this one? Same game. Ah, come game, come. That's going to be different. That's going to be different. V3 is going to be come. Yeah. So English is uh, really, really strange, strange language. Coming. And fourth and fifth are, uh, most of the time it is okay. Look at this similar word like this, run. And we do it all, almost all the time, run, we run. Ran, Ran. beautiful. And what is going to be here? Here, what is going to be here? Krishna, want to try that? Sir, run. Run itself, that run. The first and third one looks same, but they are not same. But it simply looks same. Okay. Once you learn the complete tenses, you will come to know there is a huge difference between this run and this run. You, you will come to know running, double N, and runs, single N. See, when you run, you always walk. Every day we walk. We might not run, but we walk all the time. Walk. Walk. Walked. Walked, walking, walks, there you go. So in the everyday activity, we, we take food all the time. We take food all the time. We eat, we and take food all the time. Careful here, careful here. 
we take food all the time. Eat, eat becomes eat. Eat. eat becomes eat. In the, in the third form, eat becomes eaten. Eaten. That's nice. And the fourth and fifth are uh, going to be easy. Eating eats. All right. There you go. Eat, eat, eaten, eating, eats. Now take. Look at the take. Take becomes all. Two. 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 Very, very nice. Then taken. 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 It has to be taken. It has to be taken. Taken. Taking. Takes. Hundreds of words. We simply in the next in the forty-five minutes that we spend forty minutes, not forty-five. Yeah. Easily we, we are able to grab these these many words. We are able to write. We are able to do so many words here. Do big word, big verb. We are going to look into this. Done, sir. Can you repeat? Done. Done is going to be here, isn't it? Sir, did. Did beautiful, very nice, very, very important. Very important line, this one. Mark it down. This is such an important verb. It plays as both auxiliary and also main verb. The huge one, like have what you saw. Do, did, then, doing, does. Doing, and you have a does. Important, important, word. critical word, this one. So we make dinner, we make breakfast. We make breakfast. Idea here, make, make becomes what? The made. Made, super, super, made. And what is going to be here? The, the crucial one, these three is a very crucial one out of the five. The one big important thing is the number third. Can anyone, can anyone guess? Can anyone guess? Can anyone guess? It's going to be safe. Don't worry. It's going to be safe. Making makes. The most important thing is one verb uh, is going to have five forms. Each form, in a most in a very different way, you are going to keep using when you say frame the sentence. So you should not be making mistakes. You should not be making mistakes here. Guess. Anyone? Guess. Guess the guess. Guess the guess. Guess the answer. Guess it. Can you guess it now, Krishna? Can you guess on the gas? Sanjeev? Yes. yes. That's all. Yes. Just adding ED here. Okay. We, 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 are going to, we are going to look into so many things here. You are going to feel very easy at one point because there are about 128 verbs in English which are irregular. We are listing down. Most of the other verbs are regular. So what is regular? You just have to add ed, ed in the number two and number three. Look at this, guessing. Guesses. Look. Looked. Looked. Looking. Looks. When we talk about this uh, look, the very big word we keep using all the time is see. Look at that. See. Saw. 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 Spell it. Yes, S -A -W. Very nice. Here. Sir, see. Seen. 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 Very good. Seen. Seen. Now. You want to learn something very important here? Are you ready for the learning? Sa, past tense of C. Another sa, cutting tool. Does anyone know sa is a cutting tool? You know that sa, right? Sa, to cut something. Sanjeevan, do you know sa? Yes, sir. Yeah, the carpenter uses uh, sa, right? Yes, sir. It is called the same spelling, same pronunciation, but different word. This is called a homo nim. Write it down. Homo nim. In English, homo nim, homograph, homophones are going to be important. You are going to be tested on very big exams. The international exams, 
they are going to just you all look at that. Homonym, both of them are homonym. And I'm going to show you something seen. Look at that, seen. Everyone, careful. We have done this. You have, to, you have to guess this. Seen, both of them are. Look at that. Same sound, different words. Chintanika, what, what is that word? Can you refer your notes and tell? We got this one. Same pronunciation, same sound, but different words for spelling. The homophone. Homophone, yeah, excellent. Excellent. Write it down. Write it down. When you write it down, it directly reaches your brain through nerves. So it gets settled. Writing is such a wonderful activity. You have to keep writing. You should not depend on my notes. You should depend on your notes. Depend. You should depend on your notes. Can we do this here? The C's is there, right? The C's. You want to do the C's. All right. Here. Look at that. C's. The same way. Yes, C, A, S, C's. Look at the other C's. Number of C's. C's, you see. C's, C's. Both will have the same sound. All right. Look at that. That is all what we need. Both see this is and that is very important to note it down. So as you know, we are the half a mark right now. Uh, just uh, it will go away and next to 45 minutes, just like that. So you want to be focused. You, you want to be in the learning mode because the first few classes are important. It depend. Anyone? Dependent. Dependent. Very good. And it's going to be dependent again. Uh, Hasini, brother, brother of Hasini, I think. Brother of Hasini, what is your name? You have to change your name. You have to change your name. Dependent. Depending. Look here. Uh, just look into this. When you have a look, when you have a see, you have a watch. Wow. Watch. See, look, watch. When you look, you look for uh, very few seconds. When you see, you look for like you go with something like more. But when you watch, you watch a movie, you are completely watching. Three hours you are watching. When you see a movie, probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes you are seeing. When you look at the movie, just a few seconds, few minutes, then you go away. Watch. Anyone? Is watch. Watched. Very good. Watch. Again, watch. Sarvesh, welcome to the class. Watching. Watch us. Now, everyone knows it, right? Watch means hand in your hand, you will put this watch, right? You will tie your watch. That watch. What is another watch? You look into it, right? So it's going to be homonym. Write it down. Homonym. English is full of homonyms, homophones, and homographs. Homo means same. Num means name. Homonym. Same. Note it down. Quickly. See how Sanjeevan, are you able to look at it? English as a strange language, right? Same word, same spelling, totally different meaning. Are you able to see that? So, because they have only 26 letters. Right? So they have to create so many words out of the same word. But Tamil has got 247. We have so many words. We have more than 5 lakh words in English, uh, in Tamil. We have just a couple of lakhs, only 2 lakhs words in English. But this one, we have got 5 lakhs. What a language Tamil is, right? 5 lakhs. A huge language here. And, uh, but this is only 26 letters. How many words you can make out of... Uh, this 26 letters, only a few combinations, right? But 10 times higher. It's 9.75 times, almost 10 times higher. That's why English is very strange. Sometimes it, it becomes very difficult because of the same word is being used in different. Look at that, watched. Look at that, another watch. Two different words, totally two different words. 
you will come to know when we when we learn about the tenses. This watch is totally different from this watch. This uh, so I told you twenty distribution, right? Twenty distributions out of eleven distributions will be this watch. Only one this one. This V uh, three is a huge one. V three, the number third one. Sarvesh, what is your, what is the name of your school, Sarvesh? Sarvesh. Are you there? What is the name of your school? Because you came late, I just want, uh, want you to be in the class because this first class is so crucial. We'll get to learn a lot. Sarvesh, are you there? Yes, Sarvesh, are you the brother of Hasini? So Sarvesh, uh, Sarvesh will, uh, uh, okay, we will interact with you. I will just go with this. Are you, one second. Yeah, the, the English is so, here is the one. Watch, watch, watches. You have watches home on NIM. NIM, write it down. NIM means, look at that. NIM, that NIM means name. That, that is going to be useful for you in the future. Look at that home of phone. Phone, look at the phone, phonetics, phonics. Sintanika, you know that phonetics, phonics, phone means sound. Homophone. Then graph. Wow. Graph is nothing but right. Right. Graphite. You know this autograph? Sanjeevan. Autograph. Photograph. Bi biography. Graph yes, is writing. Look at that word. Graph is writing. That's why homograph is same writing. Same writing. And I'm going to do this here. That, that I'm going to repeat. Read. Red. Wow, wow. Can you do this plus one guy? How do you read this? Plus one guy, Sanjeevan, how do you read this? The lead. Lead. Also, you can do it lead also, right? Lead also, you will do it, right? Leader, lead. Yes, you can also do lead also, right? Lead is a metal. Metal, right? It's a lead is a metal, right? Lead is what? Guide. You, you guide, you get leader. You know lead, right? Leading. Lead. Yes, sir. Wow, then it becomes what? Homograph, write it down. English is strange, right? But more than strange, English is also very sweet, isn't it? Very nice, isn't it? Will you enjoy? Will you enjoy English? You enjoy English. Okay. You are going to have so many exams related with English when you go, when you pursue your higher studies. When you pursue your higher studies, English is 50%. Everything. Look at that. This lead, lead. Sanjeev, do you agree? Lead. Yes. Lead. Right, but same spelling and different pronunciation. It is called a homograph. Write it down. Please write it down. Very important. I'll keep asking you in the remaining classes. Homograph. Surveys are there. Yes, and never say surveys. He's on the way home. That's okay. Okay. All right. Look at this. There are a lot of interesting things. More than strange, Krishna, English is a very interesting language. Very interesting language. Interest. Look at that big word is coming here. Can anyone say interest? What is the meaning of interest? Chintanika, what is the meaning of interest? You have interest. I have desire. Put that word, desire, right? Can we have it, Krishna? Desire, I have desire. The same interest, what is that? Oh. The bank will charge you interest, right? Same word, same me, same spelling, same pronunciation. What is that? That is what is it? What is that? Oh, yeah, money on the principal. Money on principal amount. Wow. Wow, principal. So it is going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to write this here. It's going to be homo nim. It's not homograph, homo num. Do you get it? Same word. English is not interesting, uh, Sanjeevan. It's a lovable language, right? Principle. Can you put the principle here? Principle. Wow. The principle. What is principle? Headmaster, uh, the, the head, head of the institution, right? Krishna, principle. 
another principle the bank bank money that money is the principal right principal amount did you get it krishna so this is also going to be everyone listen chintanika did you get the concept did you get the concept uh, chintanika yes sir english is a very unique language and you can enjoy as much as you want and when you read when you do language you have to enjoy when you enjoy things will, will come in place you see sanjeev and are you able to see that how many words how many words we have multiple meanings can you believe this can you believe this can Ooh. can you believe this can what is can vessel right one vessel milk can isn't it sanjeev is <laughs> another can what we use in sentence i can yeah. be able i can i am able to do it able able right ability right chitarika did you get it i can do it i am able to do it isn't it yes sir wow what is it called same word same spelling totally different meaning milk can water can what is it called easy easy krishna what is it called So, yeah. woman. Ah, go for it. Go for it. Yes, sir. Sir. Homo nim. This is also homo nim. Go for it. Service reach home is it? All right. Let's let's go with it. So we are we are we have gone through so so many. last 30 minutes here just to focus on this and we have done lot of lot of writing here we have done lot of writing have done do did done writing write wrote written writing so we are we are able to learn something right yes learn we got it here we can add more and more we can add more and more verbs here add anyone add it add it see how nice How nice it is! It's going to be a lot easier now. Add it. This also will be added. Adding, adds. I'll tell you the truth now. One big important thing you guys have to know. Everyone, all four of you, listen here. I'll give you this. This added is a different meaning. Past. This added is a past participle. So you tell me this in English. This is a crucial thing to learn in the first class itself. Added. and at same spelling same pronunciation but different meaning isn't it sanjeevan because it's in position to v2 this is v3 v3 will be used in a different way v2 is going to be used now you tell me this added this added can you safely say what is it homonym or homophone or homograph you see what i'm asking you see what i'm asking yeah refer your notes refer refer your notes homonym beautiful see english is full of homonyms you can't believe this number 2 number 3 are same but different meaning which you are going to see i said ask right asked asked asking as such an important thing are you are you able to see this uh, chintanika what i am saying this ask this ask the same spelling same pronunciation different meaning which means this is homonym right yes sir wow. lot of verbs all the regular verbs lot of verbs are going to be homonym that's why you need to really know you need to really know you need to really know wow need Look, I need it. Need it. Need it. Needing. Needs. Look at that. Such an important thing. Uh, here. Uh, uh, okay. Don't. Uh, don't ignore this particular thing. Need. Look at that need. Can I do this? Need here, need, and uh, uh, look at the floor. Need that's also you're needing the floor. 
flour, you know this, right? Rice flour. Rice flour you are needing. Both of them will have the same thing. You got to know. Look at, look, look at this. I'll put it here. Both, 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 both will have that. Both will have the same pronunciation. Need, need is a point. Flaw. This need is, you are going to mau paser, mau paser, the sulaglia. That is need. This also need. Look at that. No. No. Both will have the same pronunciation. You tell me now, this need in this need is homophone, isn't it? Homophone? Yes, sir. This no and this no, what is going to be here? Yeah, don't yeah. say that, homophone. Both will have the same sound, but different meaning, different spelling. Wow, whatever we are talking right now, so many homophones, so many homonyms, homographs. Oh my God, this is this is English. If you can enjoy English, there is, look at the no. Look at this. You, sir. Spell it. You. Spell it. N -E -W. N -E -W. Very nice. Very nice. Again, I'm going to go with this here. Again, you guys, new is going to be same as new in sound. Isn't it? Will you accept it? Yeah, that's it. So that's going to be homonym. Note it down. Note it down. Homophone, homonym, homograph. English is such a thing. You have to enjoy. Sanjeevan, you can't take it as a subject. Take it as a passion. Take it as an art. English is an art. Can we say that? It's an art. Any language, language learning is art. Okay, you know the meaning of art, Sanjeevan, right? You know the meaning of, like drawing, like learning Mridanyam, learning Veena, isn't it? Like an art. Think English learning is an art. It will be wonderful. You will enjoy the language. You will enjoy the language. Such a most important language in the world. Out of 210 countries, 170 countries, yeah, they talk exactly. in English. They have big exams in English, international exams. No, new. Can anyone say this? Yeah, anyone. V3, go for the V3. Known. Known. Beautiful. Known. Uh, look at that knowing. Not knowing, knowing. The W is silent here. The K is also silent here. Knowing, knowing, knowing. Knows. Look at that. Knows. Careful, careful with this. Whenever you get this one, English listening, always remember, knows. Our nose, everyone has a nose. Ooh, this nose. In the English listening, listening exams and all, you have to be very careful. There will be a homograph, homophone, homonym. You can easily make a mistake. This nose and that nose becomes a homophone. Homophone. Can we get this? I'll get this right here. I'll get this right here, right here. And we are said moving around last 25 minutes. Here we will learn something again, something important. Sarvesh, how are you, Sarvesh? Good, sir. Very nice. What's the name of your school? National model, sir. So are you in the CBC curriculum or metric curriculum? CBC. Very good. Welcome, Sarvesh. Uh, you came late, that's okay today. I'll send you the notes, okay? I'll send you the notes so that you can go through the notes, okay? I'll, yes, sir. Thank I'll, you. Sure. I said send. That's a big one. I'll send you the notes. Send. Can anyone tell me what send. is going to be the past tense? Sent. Sent. Very, very important. D becomes T. And also, the past participle, D becomes T. That's, that's such an important thing. Send. Sent. Sent. 
now sending. Now look at that. Everyone write it down because again, uh, what I want to emphasize is this scent is different from that scent. That's a V2 and V3. Tomorrow's class when we continue, we are going to put that. You said uh, we told right five forms, five different forms, two splits. We'll try to touch upon this today. Two splits, twenty distributions. And if you are going to be thorough with the verb, you are going to be thorough with English. And you can play with English. Send. When I say send, look at that. Spend. Look at that also. Spend. 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 That a D becomes T. Spend. Spend. Look at that. Spend. Spending. Spending. Spends. We want to know this upfront. We want to know five forms, five forms. Always think about it. Always think about the five forms. Big one. Think. Chintarika, you can do it. Think becomes what? You can do it. Sir, thought. Beautiful. Can you, can you spell it for me? Can you spell it? O-U-G-H-T. Good job. Good job. Because this is how you want to really do it. Look at it. Some important words are coming. Thinking. Things. Some important words are coming. We want to focus on this. Very few minutes are left. This will go just like that. You want to take the take care of the notes. You want to take the notes. Bye. Bot. Beautiful. So look at that. Look at that. Thought bot. Think by thought bot. And you also have this bot. Buying. Always remember the number two, number three are different. Tomorrow you'll get the explanation completely. Why it is critical to know. It's very critical to know number two and number three. So all of the English is full of homo forts. Homo names, not forts. Homo names. Buying bikes. Now, bring. Bought. The broad. It has to be broad. We are going U G H T. The bot is the previous one. Broad. Bring. Broad. Broad. Bringing. Brings. There you go. Bring. Broad. Broad. Bringing. Brings. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to get you a different one also here. Look at that thing. I teach you. You learn. I teach, isn't it? I teach English. Guys, I have to be careful here with the spelling and all. Teach becomes what? Teaches. Uh, teaches is going to be here, isn't it? I'm sure it's going to be here. Chart. Chart. T-A-U-G-H-T. That's so important here. T-A-U-G-H-T. Teaching. Go with it. Teaching. So learn, learn to learn American way you said. And uh, there's going to be some simple differences only. There are going to be like the base verb is, am, are, where, and all. We are going to take care of it only tomorrow because that's that will be the next step. That is going to be a little bit difficult. Mm, the base verbs, expand that into five forms, base verbs. And is, are, was, where, be, been, being. Right? Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, have, has, had, do, does, did. Only have, has, had, do, does, did we have done. But uh, other base words, only tomorrow we will expand. Expand. Go with the expand. We are expanding something. Expanded. Expanded. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Expanded. Expanded, expanding, expands. All right. Getting to know this. Such a big word, get. All right. Such a big word, get. 
got yeah yeah go yeah. yeah. it surveys focus on the surveys write it down get is such a big word seven different meanings are there get alone we'll have a separate class on get seven different meanings in english big word get, get becomes god look at that get god american way american say got go with it usa right usa here usa people say got and get got gotten getting careful surveys note it down note it down american say in a different way you have to know that so i write you say that but british people go with it any idea what what are they going to say here got it got it sir got it sir got it sir got it sir so get got got getting gets you put uk there so that you remember you, you have to remember that both of them are same when you read a big passage in the exam they will go with the god sometimes they will go with the god and both of them are same but this god is different from this god look at that this god is different from this god so it will be a little bit initially confusing but american way and british way you have to know you have to know little bit it will be confusing initial after that it will be cleared it will be clear okay initially it will be confusing look at that confusing confuses but it will be cleared once you learn more you are going to clear this out easily clear look at this it's going to be easy again i want to tell you this if verb if you learn verb thoroughly you are going to learn english thoroughly so krishna krishna are you able to uh, relate whatever i said now because five forms so many words today we went through 200 words can you believe krishna we went yes, sir. yes all of them are verbs verb is the only thing that is going to change in the sentence such a dynamic word change change look at the change 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 Go with it. Changing changes. Very good, very good. So, see what what I am trying to do. You see that, right? What I am trying to do. Whatever I am talking, I am putting it here because that is the practice. The whatever I am, what I try to do, you are able to understand, right? You are able to understand, right? Yeah. Yes, you will be able to understand whatever I am trying to do. Whatever we talk, we are putting it here. Every day we are going to use this. That's so. Every day you said you can't make a mistake. Trying. Look at that. Tries. Tries. Understand? Anyone can say this one? Understood. 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 Beautiful. 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 Both of you are correct there. and write it down when you write a lot of things happen in your body and mind so writing is such an important thing it directly goes to your mind brain so always write it down reading writing listening speaking all four you have to do understood understanding see i take the all the pain to write it because writing is important it is going to be there in your uh, throughout life it is going to be there understands all right very very important here stand stood 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 standing stands now sit 
sad. There you go. And the, the third one is also important there. It is also going to be sad only, but totally different meaning, which we are going to see tomorrow. This sad is different from that sad. But so V3, the third column is the most important column. Always remember the English, you should not be making mistakes. You should not be missing mistakes in V2 and V3. Very tricky affair here. Number two and number three. Number one, you can capture it. Number four and five, you can capture it. Number two and number three, slippery slope. If you can slip. You can slip anytime that you can slip in number two and number three. Slip. Yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. Slip. Double P there. Slip. Slipping. Slips. And there is always one word. Um, you keep getting it. Come, came, come, right? Become. That. Whenever you think about come, you think about become. Became. Became. Here you go, number three. When you work on this, uh, what is going to be the come, came, come. Become, became, become again here. Become. Careful, careful, careful. Note it down. Becoming becomes. You are learning a lot. Do you like the class? Do you like Krishna? Do you like the class? Sir. Yes. Do you like the class? I hope you like the class. Yes. Like. Look at the big word. The like. Like is a big word. Why it's a big word? It's not a simple word. Look at this. Look at this. Like. Like is. Like is wish. You can. You can say the word. So. Um, like. I, I like it. You like it. Look at that. Wish. Want. Right? But there is one more meaning like. Uh, Sanjeevan, what is the other meaning of like? Big meaning. Like. Um, Can you give me this? One is like. I like it. I like it. I love it. I like it. That's a, that's a thing. But what is the other like? Easy, easy. You know it. Sanjeevan, you know it. Only it's not coming out. Favorite. Oh, that's a favorite is here. This is the like. Right? The American way, the you will be cut off. American is, look at that, favorite, you will not be there. British, you will be there. Okay, what is like? Look at that. Now, comparing. Can you repeat? You saw comparing. Okay. Yeah, kind of comparing. Yeah, very nice. So he's really getting it. Can we write it down here? I like you. I like him. Look at that. I am changing something here. I am like him. Chintanika, now you tell me what is the difference. I like him. You know that, right? I like him. But what is I am like you? This like is totally different, isn't it? Everyone understands it? Sarvesh, do you understand this? I am like him. Like is nothing but as. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is totally different. And this, like, look at this as. All right. Similar, same. That's what he comparing he said, similar. Sanjeevan, are you able to get this? Yes, I like you means I really like him. I am like you means I am similar to them. I am similar to. So what is it called? Same spelling, same pronunciation, different words. What is it called? Homo. Anyone? Anyone? Num. All right. The favorite I told you, you know, American favorite. Americans. F A V O R A T. They write like that. USA. Can you put it USA here? Spelling. Here, British people, Indians. What we do? V A U R A T. Can you can you do this here? You can write it down. Write it down. That's also a good thing. In the exams, these things matter a lot. They want to know whether you know all this. Right? I'll put it USA here. Look at the USA here. Color. Color. That you are good at. UK color. Write it down. Just there. They will remove a lot of use. They will remove you. They will remove you, Sanjeevan. They will remove you. Yes. Americans will remove the you. 
Yes. Again, your notes are very important. In a, on a big exam day, those things will help you. 10 years from now, 5 years from now, you are going to write a big exam to go to a Western country. My God, that time this might be helpful. But your notes are very important. Now look at this. Like, 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 liking, likes. Look at that. We are coming very close, 10 minutes uh, there, but we are coming very close, isn't it? We are coming very close. Let's look at this. Chintanika, close, go for it. Closed. Closed. Look at that. Closed. Again, it's this is this and all not easy words because you have a deep meaning on those. Chintanika is going to tell me something here. Uh, she, the question that I'm going to ask, close, 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 closing, closes. Close. The meaning is, one meaning is shut, right? Shut the door. Close the door. Everybody knows it, right? Close the door. Isn't it, isn't it Chintanika? Yes, sir. Shut the door. Close the door. But the same way, I am close to him. Near to him. Near. Near. Wow. Totally two different meanings. And you tell me it's a homophone or a homonym or a homograph. You tell me. Chintanika, it's referred to the notes easy. easy. Homonym. Homonym. Beautiful. Write it down. Beautiful. This is what, what we really want. Sanjeevan, are you able to understand? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, the language has to be enjoyed. That is what I want to say. Every day there will be a surprise. Don't miss any of the classes. At the same time, you enjoy. Okay. Don't take this as a okay summer class. They have put it in English and all. Don't think that way. This you you are going to grab uh, some very good knowledge. You should uh, you should grab it. Grab, grab is nothing but catch, isn't it? So you should grab and uh, you should learn. But um, things will go very fast. Grab. Catch. You are going to have a grabbed. So you are you are going to have two bees there. Grabbed. Uh, you look at that. Grabbed. Grabbing. Grabbing. A couple of bees are grabbing grabs. Catch. Caught. Caught. Super. See, always remember about the spelling, pronunciation. You'll have separate listening session and reading sessions. But everything is important. Yes, sir. LSRW, listening, speaking, reading, writing. Everything is important. All right. That, that's a, there are some hard words, right? I told you, right? Tomorrow we are going to touch up on that hard words to start with. But I'll give you a glimpse here. Yes. What is it going to become? Was. Was. Super. Now, any uh, idea? Any idea? Yes. <laughs> can, you, can you repeat? Can you repeat? Uh, as, as you know, saying has. A has is going to be here, which we saw already, isn't it? Has is going to be here. For, for which? You are going to have a have here. You are going to have a hand here. We saw this earlier. Isn't it? Having. We saw this earlier, isn't it? All right. We saw this earlier. But this is the one I'm going to keep it for tomorrow. I'm going to alert it for tomorrow. Alert. I'm going to alert it for tomorrow. Okay. Because that's good. that's a big topic that is going to require at least 20 minutes. Completely with all the base verbs. Alert 10. Look at that. Alerting clubs. Because definitely you're going to see that tomorrow. Uh, I'm keeping for I'm keeping it for tomorrow, but every, every day is important. So you go back home and you have to really uh, run through this. Okay. So you have to take five minutes of your time and you have to read through. And I'll tell you it's a small homework, it's a ten not even ten minutes. By 10 minutes homework is needed, 
you have to go back and you have to read out uh, and you have to send us a whatsapp uh, whatsapp message voice message for me you have to read out because when you read you are going to pronounce 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 means you know that right you speak out pronounce pronounced pronounced pronouncing pronounces we cover most we covered most of the verbs today because whatever we spoke we wrote it right spoke wrote it speak spoke right wrote so cover cover covered 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 covering You, you you want to, again and again you want to note it down those uh, those words are important because english is such a strange language every word every other word would say will have two meanings can you have this here noting noting notes now sanjeevan is going to give me the answer for this question look at that Sanjeevan, note. I am noting this down. Okay, note. I am basically writing it. Right. So here, yeah, Rahman is going to like it. He's full of notes, right? He uses like you see the other note. The notebook we have. Yes, that note is one is writing. Another one is notebook. Are you able to see that note? That note, music note. Do you know the meaning of music note? There is a note, right? Music note. Music note. Yes, sir. Yes, that's music note. Write it down. Now, you tell me, what is this category? All three notes. Homo. 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 That's it. No, write it down. I want you guys to really go with this. So yeah, Krishna, English is not as is is definitely a strange language, isn't it? With the twenty six letters, with the twenty six letters, they keep they they are going to keep having words after words after words. Same word, Chintan, Are you able to see that same word they keep using so, for so many places, right? There, yeah, that is what is English is all about. A lot of people they think you don't think like Tamil. Tamil is different. Tamil is a great language. It's different. It's a very, very extensive language. But English operates in a very small circle. Operates in a very small circle. Operates. So look at that. English operates in a very small circle. Operates. So, it's a little bit uh, complicated. At the same time, enjoy. Enjoy the learning process. Enjoy. Can you do this here? Enjoy. Once you enjoy, you're going to learn a lot. Enjoy. 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 Look at that. Tomorrow is a very important day where we are going to combine a lot of concepts together and we are going to make it very enjoyable. Enjoying. Enjoys. Again, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Isn't it, Sanjeevan? Just the beginning today. Wow. Can we, can we do this here? Krishna, the V2, past tense. So began 
began. Now the big one, Krishna. P3, the big one. Um, began. Can, can you repeat, Krishna? Don't worry, don't worry. If you make it wrong, you're going to learn it. Spell it for me. Spell it, Krishna. Spell it for me. So B E ah. G A G U N. That's all. Begin, begin, begin. That, that's. I'll, I'll give you a very simple word to understand this. Uh, one second. Beginning begins. Let's complete this. I'll give you a simple word here to relate to it. Also to understand it better. Look at that. Drink. Here. So drunk. Drank. Look at look at the, the second one. I become C A. Here, drunk. That's all. That begin, began, began. Drink, drank, drank. Note it down. This will be one of the last words here. Drinking. I I don't want to keep you longer. Ninety minutes. Ninety minutes so that you'll you know what 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 can what you can expect. What you can expect from me. Expect. Expected. Expected. Expecting. Expects. Very nice. Just one minute to go. I'm going to give you this homework. It's very easy, Sanjeevan. Very easy. I will always ask like 10, 15 minutes of your time before you come to the next class. Very easy. What in the class one, what you need to do is you have to read it out. Sanjeevan, audio and you have to send this. Go, went, gone, going, goes. Give, gave, given, giving, gives. Put, 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 putting, puts. Likewise. Can you do it, uh, Sanjeevan? Can you read it out? This is the, this is the WhatsApp number. Note it down, very important. That's a different number, 9600852111. Guys, I will give you only simple homework, but you have to do it. Why? You have to go back and revise the notes. That is the reason I give you. And 30 hours of this class will force you to look into, uh, look into English in a different way, okay? And uh, I, I am sure English is going to be your favorite subject after 30 hours. Okay, nine six double zero eight five two triple one. My name is Sambaya. You can save it. You can save it. Yeah. And Sarvesh, I will. I will send you. I will share the notes. I will share the class one notes because you missed most of it. I will share it now so that you can view everything and you can try it. I I will share it in the entire group. And it is seven o'clock. I will. I will let you go. Let 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 final word. I will let you go. Can I let you go? Yes, I will let you go. Before I let you go, I will do the right here. How is it? All right. Letting, let's. There you go. Super. Let I let you go. Thank you very much for coming. First class, Sarvesh, Krishna, Chintanika, and Sanjeeva. Welcome again. And we will meet at 5.30 p.m. tomorrow. How is it? Let's meet at 5.30 p.m. Thank you very much. Service, I'll send you. I'll send you that in the group. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Thanks. Thanks, Bye. everyone. See you. See you tomorrow. See me tomorrow. Yeah. Krishna. I was to, wants to talk to you, sir. Yes. Yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Romana lights, Ama Yenaka, and Rumbo or Sanatan and Three there. Two thousand fifteen lesser, Ponusam, sir, class. Getting Raja Jidan. Ah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Very, very nice, very nice, very nice. Four of the good people, sir. Nala Nabur, sir. Nala Nabur, getting a year, petty than you get an exam. Petty than a petty lady, get to one. Very good, very good, very good. Good job. Nana Navarke, Yeradosha, Jama. Now, phone the phone number. I'll call you and talk to you. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.